guys welcome to my channel and today I'm going to teach you how to make a simple uh, waffle stitch for a pot holder crochet pot holder uh, first you're gonna need a 5 mm crochet hook scissors and of course a yarn we're going to start a slip knot like this one and then make the length that you want here i'm going to do 28 1 2 3 4 6 7 so i finished to do 28 chain 1 2 skip 2 chain i'm going to do the crochet double crochet stitch but we're going to do that in this uh, three chain. You have to skip two stitch one two and do your double crochet on the third stitch. Just like what I'm doing. Just continue until uh, to the last uh, foundation chain. Just insert your hook once again. I'll show you. So, uh, get the yarn, insert your hook to the stitch, one loop, and then pull through two loops, pull through two loops. Continue doing the stitch till the end of the foundation. So, here we go. I finished the first row. And what we're going to do, chain three, one, two, and three, and what we're going to do just the same uh, double crochet but instead of doing that here on the two loops or on top of the stitch uh, we're going to do that here under the stitch okay and then the next two stitches what we're going to do is uh, on top of that stitch where the two loops is there we need to insert our hook there double crochet and another one double crochet of course we did the chain three here so next one will be under the stitch double crochet under the stitch and the next two is again the same pattern that we did uh, make the double crochet on top of the stitch where uh, you get the two loops insert your hook there in between of two loops and another one here continue doing that the same uh, process of uh, crocheting until the end of our row two so here we go guys our row two this is what it looks like uh, we're continue doing the row three so we start with the chain three one two and three and then turn your works like this one so we're going to do is uh, instead of uh, doing the same stitch we're not going to do that in a row two this time we're going to do the stitch opposite side so just uh, get the yarn and not here just skip this one guys so we're going to do here this side our double crochet on top it's opposite uh, stitch what we're doing what we're going to do here in a row three this next two uh, stitches this time we're going to do the underneath the stitch or under the stitch double crochet there and then the next one in a row two we did the stitch of uh, underneath so this time we're going this on top of the stitch where the two loops insert your hook get the yarn first we're ready for double crochet and insert your hook with that uh, space or stitch and fold through two loops fold through two loops and the next two st stitches we're going to insert your hook there underneath the stitches just uh, doing the same pattern under until you finish this uh, row three so i'll show you later so here we go guys i finished the row three and it this is what it looks like but when you turn your work you can see the waffle is already forming this is uh, the design of waffle 
the effect of waffle in our stitch so we need to continue doing the same uh, stitch of row 2 and 3 to form the waffle effect until your desired length so in here again for our row 4 you have to chain 3 and then turn your work like this one and do the same uh, stitch of row 2 here in our row 4 so first we need to do the uh, underneath and one underneath the first stitch and then the second two stitches we're, we're gonna need to do the on top of uh, stitch do the double crochet of course and then this time it's underneath one this is the stitch of what we did in row two and so on so you have to do the same pattern i'll show you what it looks like once i've done finish my uh, uh, crochet a pot holder with a waffle stitch uh, design so here we go guys this is what it looks like as you can see you will see the effect of waffle stitch already so in this time i want to do the different colors so i'm going to combine the new colors so just slip knot and do the same stitch of course and you want to hide that yarn so insert your hook and chain three and double crochet there and just like what you did on that stitch I'm going to hide the, the tail. That's how I change the color. And then double crochet here. And hide the tail. I'll continue doing that the same uh, color because I want to change the color and this is what it looks like you will see the effect of the waffle already right so I'll show you once I finish this uh, project so this is what it looks like guys our uh, uh, crochet waffle stitch uh, pot holder so uh, we, if you want to have a holder, just a chain, a simple one, chain, uh, because I don't have a yarn, I got it already, just uh, do the chain like this one, and just insert here, and do, it's already cut it. That's it. This is a very simple and all you need to do is uh, hide the tail. If you want guys this kind of uh, holder or handle where you can hang, just uh, make this, uh, I think this one is four double crochet instead of doing the simple one. And if you want this just uh, make a button and just insert like that so you can insert in your uh, oven or the other hook there so i will show you how to do it next time i'll show you next time how to do this flower foot holder and this one is a thicker one this is the waffle stitch this is beautiful stitch you have to buy a thicker yarn it's better this one is just a simple uh, pot holder to show you the stitch of waffle stitch and this is what it looks like the waffle stitch effect so it helps right so
that's it thank you for watching guys and don't forget to uh subscribe and like uh, my videos and share if you want bye bye